Hello, friends. My name is Nikolai Nenov. I am certified food expert and pharmacist. The topic of today's video is hypoglycemia, symptoms, causes, and management. Hypoglycemia is a low blood glucose level of 4.0 millimol liter or less. A blood sugar level below 70 milligrams deciliter or 3.9 millimol liter is low and can harm you. A blood sugar level below 54 milligrams deciliter or 3.0 millimol liter is a cause for immediate action. People at risk of hypoglycemia are those with diabetes who are on insulin or certain diabetes medications. Reactive hypoglycemia happens when blood sugar drops significantly low within two to five hours after eating. The symptoms that are experienced include sweating, trembling, rapid heartbeat, anxiety, and hunger. Most commonly, very low levels of blood sugar are due to an over-secretion of insulin from the pancreas. The decrease in blood sugar levels leads to an increase in stress hormones, such as adrenaline and cortisol. This halts the ongoing decrease in blood sugar. An individual suffering from hypoglycemia can exhibit either some or all of the following symptoms. Fatigue, dizziness, lightheadedness, palpitations, nausea, blurred vision, confusion, headache, irritability, slurred speech, depression, anxiety, intense craving for sugary foods, night sweats, weakness in the legs, swollen feet, feeling of tightness in the lower back, nervous tics, mental disturbances, and insomnia can all be exhibited by individuals suffering from hypoglycemia. Those experiencing hypoglycemia may also become highly aggressive. It is considered that intense stress contributes to the increasing incidence of hypoglycemia. Regulation of blood sugar. After consuming a meal, your body metabolizes food into glucose. This glucose, serving as the primary energy source, is transported into cells through the aid of insulin, a hormone produced by the pancreas. Insulin facilitates the entry of glucose into cells, supplying them with the necessary fuel. Excess glucose is stored in the liver and muscles as glycogen. During periods of prolonged fasting, when your blood sugar level decreases due to not eating for several hours, insulin production diminishes. Another pancreatic hormone, glucagon, prompts your liver to degrade stored glycogen, releasing glucose into your bloodstream. This process maintains your blood sugar within a normal range until your next meal. Additionally, your body has the capability to generate glucose, primarily in the liver, but also in the kidneys. With prolonged fasting, the body can break down fat stores and use products of fat breakdown as an alternative fuel. Possible causes of hypoglycemia in people with diabetes. In the case of diabetes, you could either have insufficient production of insulin, known as type 1 diabetes or reduced responsiveness to it, referred to as type 2 diabetes. As a result, glucose accumulates in the bloodstream and could reach dangerously high levels. To correct this problem, you might require insulin or other medications to regulate and lower your blood sugar levels. However, an excess of insulin or other diabetes medications may lead to an excessive decrease in your blood sugar levels, resulting in hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia may also occur if you consume less food than usual following your regular dose of diabetes medication or if you exercise more than you typically do. Possible causes of hypoglycemia in people without diabetes. Hypoglycemia is significantly less common in individuals without diabetes. Potential causes include medications. Accidental consumption of someone else's oral diabetes medication can lead to hypoglycemia. Some other medications, especially in children or people with kidney failure, can cause low blood sugar levels. An example is quinine, used for treating malaria. Excessive alcohol consumption. Heavy drinking without consuming food can prevent the liver from releasing glucose from its glycogen stores into the bloodstream, resulting in hypoglycemia. Certain severe illnesses, conditions such as severe liver diseases like hepatitis or cirrhosis, intense infections, advanced kidney disease, and severe heart disease can lead to hypoglycemia. Kidney disorders might hinder the proper excretion of medications, affecting glucose levels due to an accumulation of medications that lower blood sugar levels. Prolonged starvation. Hypoglycemia can occur due to malnutrition and starvation, depleting the glycogen stores necessary for generating glucose. Long-term starvation can be a consequence of conditions like anorexia nervosa. Excessive insulin production. A rare pancreatic tumor called insulinoma can cause excessive insulin production resulting in hypoglycemia. Other tumors can also trigger excessive release of insulin-like substances. Abnormal pancreas cells producing insulin can lead to overactive insulin release, causing low blood sugar. 
hormone deficiencies. Disorders of the adrenal glands and pituitary tumors can lead to insufficient levels of hormones that regulate glucose production or metabolism. Inadequate growth hormone in children can also cause hypoglycemia. Post-meal hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia usually occurs when you haven't eaten, but not always. Sometimes hypoglycemia symptoms occur after certain meals, but exactly why this happens is uncertain. Referred to as reactive hypoglycemia or postprandial hypoglycemia, this type of low blood sugar can occur in people who have had surgeries that interfere with the usual function of the stomach. Recommendations for dealing with hypoglycemia. Completely eliminate alcohol, processed and packaged foods, dried fruits, refined and processed foods, salt, sugar, saturated fatty acids, soft drinks, and white flour from your diet. Also, avoid foods containing artificial colorings or preservatives. Sweeten your food with natural sweeteners, such as stevia. Consume fiber-rich foods and include a large variety of vegetables in your diet, like broccoli, carrots, spinach, and green beans. Vegetables should be eaten raw or steamed. Also include brown rice, lentils, potatoes, and certain fruits in your diet, such as apples, avocados, watermelon, grapefruit, lemons, and bananas. For protein intake, consume low-fat cottage cheese, yogurt, kefir, fish, raw nuts, seeds, and skinless turkey or chicken meat. Consume starchy foods like white rice, sweet potatoes, corn, and spaghetti in moderate amounts. Avoid fried foods. Engage in regular physical activity. This helps maintain a steady blood sugar level. Eat one to three hours before exercise. Minimize stress. It is a major contributor to hypoglycemia, affecting adrenal gland function and blood sugar levels. Practice stress reduction techniques like meditation, listening to relaxing music, massage, or deep breathing. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe for more informative content and hit the like button if you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions for future topics, please leave them in the comments below. Remember, your journey towards better health starts with informed choices. Stay tuned for more health and wellness insights. See you next time.